This is a quick video that will provide you with some tips to make your iPad function better at home. If you're having problems connecting to the internet in your home, there are a couple things you can try. First, you might want to make sure that it is your device that is having the problems, not the internet. If other devices in your home, like a cell phone, are connecting fine, then it is probably something to do with your device. If you have an internet connection, you probably have a router somewhere that your computer sends data or information to. This is what mine looks like. Your router is a tool that your iPad will connect to in order to get to the internet. If you're having issues connecting or staying connected with your internet, you might want to check the router's location in your house or apartment. If you're trying to connect to a room that is far away from the router, then you might want to move closer to the room where the router is plugged in. That can help a little bit. If your trouble is that you can't connect to the internet, the first thing to try is to turn your device on and off. After you turn your iPad off, it'll take about 20 seconds for it to turn back on. If that didn't work, you can always try to turn your Wi-Fi on and off. One way to do this is to go to your settings. Most of the time, we don't expect students to change their settings in any way without permission, but in this case, it is something easy that you can try. A good idea is to ask an adult for help if you're unsure of what to do. You simply click on the settings icon and go to the Wi-Fi. You would slide the green button on and off to see if that helps you connect. If that still doesn't do the trick, maybe the password to the internet has changed recently or something like that. You can try to go to the Wi-Fi that you're trying to connect to and click the blue I, lowercase i, that's next to that Wi-Fi. And you would click forget this network. If you're going to try this, you must know the internet password to sign back in or it won't work. Simply forget the network, click forget, and it will prompt you to fill in the password. when you try to log in again. It will ask you to fill in the username and password possibly, and it will also ask you if you trust that internet provider. You can click trust if it's your internet, and then it should let you log back in. Hopefully one of those steps will get you connected at home. Let's check out the Safari browser. Click on the multi-page icon on the top right-hand corner of the window. This will open up all the pages that you have open. It's a good idea to close these down if anything is running slowly or just not working as well as you think it should. You can close one single page that you don't need anymore, or you can go back to that multi-page feature, hold it down, and you can close all the tabs at once. That's a quick shortcut.